Have you ever watched water boil and noticed how it moves around in the pot? Or felt a warm breeze on your face on a sunny day? These are both examples of convection, a way that heat moves through liquids and gases. Convection happens when warm particles rise and cooler particles sink, creating a flow of energy. To understand convection, let's go back to the particle theory. When a liquid or gas is heated, its particles start moving faster and spread out. This makes the warm part less dense, so it rises. As it moves away from the heat source, it cools down. The particles slow down and it becomes denser, so it sinks. This creates a circular movement called a convection current. You can see this happening in boiling water. When the bottom of a pot is heated, the water near the heat source gets warm, expands, and rises to the top. The cooler water at the top sinks down, where it gets heated again, and the cycle continues. This constant movement helps spread heat evenly through the liquid. Convection also happens in the air. Have you ever felt a sea breeze at the beach? During the day, the land heats up faster than the water. The warm air above the land rises, and the cooler air from over the ocean moves in to take its place. At night, the opposite happens. The land cools down faster than the water, and the air movement switches direction. This is why we get daily changes in wind patterns. Even Earth's mantle experiences convection. Deep inside the Earth, hot rock from near the core rises toward the surface, cools down, and sinks back again. This slow but powerful movement helps shape the continents and volcanoes over millions of years. So, whether it's boiling water, the air we breathe, or even the movement of Earth's crust, convection helps transfer heat through liquids and gases. The next time you see steam rising from a pot or feel the wind blowing, you'll know that convection is at work.